Coming at you from Davin B Farm. Before we get to the heart of this video, let's go check on our container gardens. So as you can tell, we have one, two, and a little bit of a three. Oops, I just dropped one. Um, little containers that are producing what you see here. So, I mean, you really don't have to have that much in order to be able to produce plentiful food. So, um, just to tell you a little bit about this, we have some red tomatoes, some, some big, like, I guess, eating tomatoes. And then we have smaller cherry tomatoes. So, this one, I, I probably picked it just a little bit too soon. This one is actually a, like, like chocolate sprinkle something something super sweet and then another one of my favorites is i'm pretty sure it's like a yellow sugar um again super sweet i personally grew up i guess around tomatoes a lot so i don't really like them but if they're sweet i will eat them so that's why i get to choose what tomatoes goes in our um, container gardens um, and actually this little red tomato, um, we had purchased too many to go into our actual garden. So this is, I guess, a leftover plant that was put in here. Um, we also have cucumber. So I picked this one just because I might have picked it like a few days ago. So there's not any hardly ready, but this is some cucumbers. And that's what you see that is climbing up our little chicken fence. Um, and say hello to our girls. Yes, lovely. So, getting into today. <gasps> oh, shit. Mama, you cannot cuss. <laughs> <laughs> Did you stop it? No. <laughs> you can keep going. It's fine. Um, so. Sorry, everybody. If you don't know. Um, we have a going prank with um, me, dad, and mom. So me and dad kind of gang up on mom and we scare her with like different like snake things because she is absolutely terrified of snakes. Even though we live on a farm and we see them quite frequently, it is, it is very, very funny whenever she does see them because she normally screams, says that one word, and then runs so yeah um i will try to post some of her funny videos onto our facebook page and maybe even our youtube i might i might post a a a reel on um instagram i'm sorry a reel on instagram to show you the extent of how terrified she is of snakes anyway i digress let's go back to the whole purpose of this video other than letting y'all see that mom is terrified of snakes. Anyway, so I've been noticing that we have some pests around our little container garden. So the, the two really big ones that, that I have seen um, are white flies and aphids. So let me show you what a aphid looks like. Come with me, come on. They are right here right here they're little white dots and they eat holes through everything you see this is some potatoes you see the holes so our project today is going to be over kind of helping our our plants out with with a little bit of pest control so we are going to go and make a super clean natural solution to water our plants with so so let's go do it what you're going to need for today's project is a garden sprayer um, this is a two gallon sprayer that you can get at any local hardware store and we have named it garden sprayer because it does what we need it to do and we don't have to like mix different chemicals and wash it out if, if we do use like a harsh chemical which we rarely ever do so anyway you're going to need a, a garden sprayer you're going to need water you're going to need some dish soap you're going to need some vegetable oil and you are going to need a tablespoon um and something that you don't have to have necessarily for this project but it's really really good is you're gonna have to have a companion to help you so um, I'm gonna introduce you to our dogs that we have here on the farm so Millie come here this is Millie she is our registered border collie she has
has an awesome job on the farm, which is helping Dad keep all the different critters in line. So she is trained to herd. Me and Dad both worked on her whenever she was a young pup. And she is from a really awesome breeder in Portland. If you're interested in maybe getting a future puppy um, to help you around the farm, message me and I'll give you all that contact info. Um, but she she is a valuable, valuable asset to our um, farming operation. And it doesn't help that she is the most cuddliest dog ever. Um, anyway, she looks really silly right now, but she is long haired. She has her winter cut, I mean her um, summer cut, so her hair is really short. Alright, I do. Alright, let me go get the little one. So, if you ever hear us yelling for a dog, it's probably for this one, because she has a mind of her own. Josie, Josie, come here. She is hot right now, and she doesn't want to get up. Come here. Come here. Hey, baby. Come here. Okay. So, <laughs> she is a registered mini Australian Shepherd. Um, she is a red tri. Uh, she, again, does not know how to herd. That is not what I got her. I got her just to be my little lap dog. But does she want to be a lap dog? No, she wants to do what Millie does. So hopefully this, this winter uh, we can get her some sheep and start training. So, um, she, she is my heart. I love her so much. I love both of my dogs equally. They're like my children. But, um, <laughs> whenever I was going off to college, I decided that, you know, I'm an only child, so my parents need a gift for their, like, little, like, empty nest syndrome. So, I got them dogs both semesters I was gone, so <laughs> I think that's an awesome idea. <laughs> they were not too happy with me. Anyway, let's go and make our solution. So, for this solution, per gallon, it is a two to one ratio. So, you want two tablespoons of your dish soap to one tablespoon of your oil. So, since this is a two gallon sprayer, I'm going to put four of this and two of this. Awesome. Let's go math. Alright, so I'm just going to start with the vegetable oil since it's, you know, the easiest, I guess. So, we're going to put two. That'll ever pour out. One. And it's not an exact science. So, don't feel like you're messing it up. None of these ingredients. I'm going to put a little bit, kind of like a film, if you have ever watched the network. So, two of the vegetable oil, and now then four, Three. one, two, three, four, and a little bit for good measure. Okay, so. That's done, and now then you just fill it up with water. So, let's do that. using water last because it kind of helps mix it up. Um, all right. So, now then that that's done, you can also like kind of shake it, make sure that it is all good and done. We are going to pressure built up. And now then we are just going to spray. So, so since this is 
organic, you are gonna have to do this multiple times during the week until you see all of the little pests gone. So um, this is without saying that whenever you do use this, please wash your plants because I'm sure you don't wanna be eating soap even though I don't think it will hurt you. <laughs> Just wash your plants. <laughs> I'm just getting a generous heaping on all these. I'm gonna pump as I go. My chickens are gonna get a bath today because they are nosy. So something that I particularly enjoy about gardening is that it's a little treasure hunt every time you like go out to the garden. So can you see it? It's a really big, really ready cucumber. So cool. All right, let's start spraying. everything is coated really good but then again if you are doing it multiple times during the week you don't really have to worry about being like perfect because um yeah so let me go to the other side and spray the rest so we do hours twice a week sometimes three times a week, uh, just to, uh, I don't know, if it, if, if it rains a lot, we kind of do it um, just a little bit extra just to make sure that it's not all washed off of the leaves. So, yeah. Right now. Let us know down below um, if y'all have any problems with your garden and um, if you want to see anything on our next videos. Um, be sure if you haven't subscribe to our YouTube channel and go check us out on Instagram and Facebook and heck even TikTok. So we post almost daily if not multiple times during the week. So you can see what we do more on a daily basis um, and yeah so be sure to go do that. Um, I'm Haley and we're out.